Welcome back to the Week of the Pumpkin, everybody! Today's beer comes highly recommended by one of the LCBO workers here in North Bay. What? Be going down, people of the world! Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch! Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer of the today! We've got a bottle of Highballer Pumpkin Ale by Grand River Brewing. Yes indeed, haven't had a whole lot of beers by these guys. Their Tailgate Lager and their Red Tail Ale, I think, were both really, really enjoyed. Wasn't a huge fan of their Curmudgeon IPA, I think it was called. And a Pugnacious Pale Ale too. <laughs> Look at my memory go. Looking forward to this. Let's crack her open. Ooh, pumpkin. Delicious pumpkin. Let's see what we've got. Uh, <clears throat> looks kind of like the beer from yesterday. Maybe a little bit darker. I don't know. Looks pretty good. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those who watch my videos. The beard loves you also very, 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 very much. I think maybe just a little bit clearer than yesterday's beer was. A little bit clearer and a little bit darker. And not really much more pumpkin smell. Like, it's there, but it's not super in my face. Let's give her a shot. Yeah, that pumpkin flavor is kind of muted, like yesterday's beer was. Not bad, again, like yesterday's beer, but not as pumpkin flavory as I, I would have hoped. Eh, regardless, let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Very, very much like the Grand River, not the Grand River, I'm having the Grand River. The Great Lakes Brewery pumpkin beer that I had yesterday. Really quite similar. Today being October 25th, on this date in 1938, the Archbishop of Dubuque, D-U-B-U-Q-U-E, Francis J.L. Beckman, denounced swing music as a degenerated musical system turned loose to gnaw away at the moral fiber of young people, warning that it leads down a primrose path to hell. His warning was widely ignored. Just swing music. Like, really? Really? I love those religious fanatics. So fun. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> it's a good beer. It just... I was kind of... I was... This one was recommended. The girl at the LCBO here in North Bay, <clears throat> excuse me, said this one was way better than the Great Lakes one that I had yesterday. And according to my taste buds, there's really not that much difference in them at all. This one might have a little bit more of the pumpkin spicy kind of flavor going on, but just a little bit. It's, it's pretty smooth though. It really is. No bad flavors at all anywhere. On this date in 1944, the USS Tang under Richard O'Kane the top American submarine captain of World War II was sunk by its own malfunctioning torpedo. That's got to be kind of embarrassing, if you lived to tell the tale. Also in World War II, the largest naval battle in history took place. It was around the Philippines between the Imperial Japanese Navy and the U.S. 3rd and 7th fleets. After the battle was concluded, the first kamikaze to attack of the war by a Japanese pilot took place. 
That must have freaked some people out. Like, did they did they know he was kamikazeing the first time, or did they just assume that his engines had failed and he crashed? Or, I I don't know. But you gotta figure if you're gonna die, you know, if your engines are out and you're able to steer your plane into an enemy vehicle, ship, whatever. Why not? But for your plane to be completely completely fine, and for you to use it as a missile, that's uh, a little out there. For me, anyway. I couldn't do it. Really not a whole lot on this bottle. They got their, their f fancy train that has a, a pumpkin on the front, a jack-o'-lantern lighting the way. Haha, uh -huh, witty. And yeah, bottled on September 26th of this year. It's nice to see. And we have ingredients. Water, barley, malt, pumpkin, hops, spices. But that is it. <laughs> N nothing else. Grand Rivers also switched over to cans for a few of their beers. I don't know if this will maybe be in can form next year. Chances are I'll still be <clears throat> doing what I'm doing next year at this time, so we'll, we'll see when that happens. Yeah. Really not all that much pumpkin flavor. Gotta say. On this date in 1962, Adlai Stevenson, A-A-D-L-A-I, was his name, showed photos at a meeting of the United Nations Security Council proving that Soviet missiles were installed in Cuba. And, yeah, some Americans slightly lost their minds at hearing that news. Just a little bit. Fair enough, really. Cuba's not far away from the States. And if they had nuclear missile silos set up in Cuba, you could hit pretty much anywhere in the States from there without it having to be a super long-range missile. Even you could get to, like, the... They could hit Canada. So, yeah. If I had been alive in 1962 and old enough to care... I may have cared, but I wasn't, so I didn't. Drink number the last. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty good, but not what I would have expected. 5.2% alcohol. I don't think I said that. So, Grand River Brewing, your highballer pumpkin ale. Rating. Solid seven. No marks off, just kind of bland. Sorry to say. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink vlog tomorrow. Peace out! So tomorrow we're getting into a pumpkin porter, which I'm really hoping is going to be more intensely pumpkin flavored than the previous two have been.